Hey everyone, Luke here with catsandcarp.com and uh, we're doing another live video event here. It's been a little while, so hey everybody. A um, couple things I'm going to do here. First off, I'm going to announce our fall fishing event. Uh, twice a year we try to do fishing events where everyone can come together, go, go fishing with me, uh, just have a great time, meet other people in the fishing community here and it's going to be a good time. So we're going to be doing that and I want to give you all the details. Additionally, I just got a box of like tons of fishing uh, baits from uh, friends and stuff like that at uh, overseas and uh, I'm going to show you some brand new carp baits I'm going to be experimenting with. So I'm kind of excited to try out a bunch of new carp baits. At any rate, and uh, as always, my dear sweet wife, Rebecca, is uh, moderating. Hey, Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> and uh, she's going to shout out uh, questions as they pop up on the screen. So she's going to let me know your questions because I know you guys have a lot of questions. I'll try to answer them. So, at any rate, so first things first, there's uh, uh, the fall fishing event. We are going to be doing it at the DC Tidal Basin here a week from this Saturday, so that'd be September 23rd, okay? Um, I'm gonna try to be there roughly nine to five over by the Jefferson Memorial. Uh, we, we typically have about 20 people, 30 people come um, uh, in the past, so it's a great opportunity, plenty of room for everyone to fish. If you're gonna come, you need a DC fishing license, which you can get online. There are 13 bucks for a year out of state DC fishing license. And it's a great place for catching catfish or carp. Um, I'm probably gonna be fishing for carp over there uh, with my new baits. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a live event too. So I'm, for those of you who can't make it, I'm gonna try to bring you in on the action by doing some live video feeds uh, on YouTube you know, from the event. So hopefully knock on wood, I'll have a strong enough cell signal. I should, because I'll be in downtown DC. But anyway, this will be at the DC Tidal Basin um, by the Jefferson Memorial. If you want to park, go to Ohio Drive Northwest, I believe it is. And there's parking lots under the 395 bridge, uh, easy walking distance. You can also park on Ohio Drive. So park on over, come over. And if you check out uh, my videos, was, I've posted videos from every fishing event we've done for the last several years. So there's a good four or five videos about prior events so you can kind of see what the fishing is like and what kind of what kind of things to expect but it's been it's been a good event um we've had a great time met some wonderful people all, uh, at that event so oh, it's a great environment for for families and, and individuals so any rate somebody commented that there's a three hour limit now for the parking lots oh well i'll ignore that too so if there's a three hour limit, um, is that, that might be a new thing. I know Ohio Drive was a three hour limit, but on the weekends, nobody ever checked it. I just parked there all day. Uh, the parking lots, who knows, maybe that's something new, but there's multiple parking lots and there's also parking um, around Haynes Point, which is less restricted. It's a little bit more of a walk, but that's available too. At any rate, I, uh, can I go fishing with you? Uh, like David asked it. Yes, you can. That's exactly what I'm announcing right now. <laughs> Come to DC, September 23rd, Saturday, 9 to 5. Come fishing with me. That's exactly what we're talking about. Uh, any other questions, CC, babe? What happened to the Wednesday videos? Wednesday videos? Uh, I just am dialing back a little bit. Just. For my health i got pneumonia this this year i got a viral viral infection i've been just worst health i've had in my life and it comes from staying up until 1 30 in the morning editing videos and getting up and going fishing the next uh going to work and then going fishing and editing till 1 30 the next morning and doing that every day for about two years so that's uh taken its toll so no i've got the two channels as well so it's not two videos a week. It's like closer to three or four or so. I'm just doing one video uh, a week for a little while until I catch my breath. Then I'll see. I might come back and, and do it. But I'd rather have good videos than just try to do more videos. 
Where are your boys? My boys, they're downstairs because historically when I've done live feeds with them, they just grab the camera and shove it up in their face and scream as loud as they can. And some people don't find that off-putting, and uh, including me, when my eardrums bleed. So we put them downstairs. I don't think it'll last. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Luke, what's up here, babe? You got any more questions? I got to tell you something. Yeah, bud? Speaking of the devil. But, but wait, I got to tell you something. Uh -huh. It's called basketball for all your basketball fans. For the other human hits your basketball. You throw the basketball fast before the other human? Did someone just do a donation? Yeah, thanks, Justin. Yeah. Justin Edwards. Yeah. Justin, shout See? out, buddy. Thank you very much. Daddy, yeah. Hey, Daddy. Hey, hey, Justin, sh send me, shoot me an email with your ad address or send me a message with your address and I'll send you a catfish and carp sticker. So anybody who does uh, the Super Chats donations, I'll send you a free catfish and carp bumper sticker. Are you back from Alaska? Several yeah, people ask. Yeah, we're back from Alaska. We've. Um... <laughs> the kids are out of the basement. Yeah, we're back from Alaska, and I have 350 gigs of video to edit. So, hey, thank you very much. Uh, J Dodge 618. Hey, Message me your, your uh, name and address on Facebook or shoot me an email and I'll send you that sticker. Alan, thank you as well. Shout out to Alan. And, uh, uh, I'll send you a, a, send me the message. I'll get you out those stickers. Um, but yeah, I'm back from Alaska. We've got 350 gigs of video to edit and we've got, hey, thank you. Hey. Yeah, um, and we've got loads of video. I'm doing four a four-part series of like 20 to 30 minute videos on the Outdoor Boys channel. And then I'm doing a bunch of catch and cook videos uh, for with salmon, halibut, the grayling fishing videos. Come on guys, go downstairs, buddy. There you go. Uh, um, and so, yeah, we're gonna... Um, uh, anyway, so we've got a load of videos, with, uh, fishing videos to do that. So I got about seven videos right now, uh, uh, and I've edited three or four of them. So and when I get done with this, I'm going to be editing some more videos. Plus, I have um, two other fishing videos, fishing rod review videos that I did uh, that are just sitting on my computer waiting to get edited. Those are going to be after the Alaska videos. I've got uh, a bunch of Outdoor Boys videos. Um, including an eight pound felling ax I'm restoring. I just finished a video shooting uh, where we made a bunch of uh, wild berry jellies. Hey, thank you very much. Muddy water fishing. Thank, thank you very much. And, uh, um, and I am also hoping, and here I've got a project where I'm gonna use my blacksmithing forge. I, I got that fixed up. And I'm gonna make a Maasai hunting spear. I'm at least gonna try. And try to do a video on that. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, all you guys are doing the super chat. Thank you very much. And uh, shoot me your your information through uh, Facebook Messenger or uh, through the Catfish and Carp. Send me a message to the Catfish and Carp Facebook page or email me at lnichols at catsandcarp.com. And with your information, I'll send you one of those bumper stickers. Um, are you going to go fishing in Florida? We did, we've done that every New Year's uh, for the last couple of years. I did the shark fishing one year and then I went bass fishing and stuff last year. But as some of you may or may not know, my wife is expecting our third boy. So, and that due date is right around January 1st. So I don't know if we're going to make it to Florida this year, um, but we're going to be doing that again soon. Oh, and, uh, also, we've got some awesome trips uh, next year, hoping to take a month off of, of work and do some travel. And it's just kind of a rough plan, but we're hoping to go to Japan and uh, do some fishing in Japan and in Canada and uh, go uh, cruise around Utah in the Southwest and do some um, fishing there. So some awesome vi uh, videos coming up soon. Can I go fishing with you? Yes. Yes, you can. September 23rd at the DC Tidal Basin. So a week from this Saturday, come fishing with us. We're going to be, anybody who wants is welcome to come fishing. It's going to be awesome. Uh, 
we've always had a great time and there's been a couple of years where we've really killed it. So uh, there's been some great times with that. What's the rod limit for DC? Three, three rods. So, oh, uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of rods in the water, so. Somebody asked if you can do an aquarium for catfish. Oh, uh, uh, maybe it was carp, one of them. Oh, do an aquarium, like have me build one? Mm, mm. Or just people, if people can do that, if they can keep them alive. Oh, yeah, you can keep them alive, they're koi. I mean, they're just, they keep uh, people raising the goldfish are a member of the carp family yeah so oh catfish sorry catfish sorry. yes you can depends on of course most catfish get a little too big i got thanks for the super chat thank you and uh um you should make a pond um i have got so many irons in the fire <laughs> i'm getting a no then my boys can get wet and fall in the water 24 7. it'll be awesome amazing <laughs> Uh, at any rate, right, uh, I'm hoping to go to Texas fishing too. My good buddy Jeff Gonzalez, uh, who's in a lot of my fishing videos, he, he you might remember uh, as the part man, part animal superhuman who went swimming in the Potomac after my fishing rod in the bamboo fishing rod video. But my good buddy Jeff, who by the way I met at one of our fishing events, moved to Texas. I miss him. <laughs> We're gonna go visit Jeff and hopefully do some carp fishing and some gar fishing down there. And that's uh, as soon as Houston stops flooding, we might uh, we might go and do that. But uh, we'll have to go see. They're 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 uh, they're uh, got a lot of clean. They're a little busy right now, so I'm I'm gonna let them take care of that. Uh, doo -doo. What about Chicago? Uh, I have not fished the Great Lakes area before. Uh, any other questions? Uh, Fish, the Susquehanna? Uh, I, want, I want to. I gotta go with uh, Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing. We gotta go fish the Susquehanna. That's, I've been meaning, like, me and Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing have been meaning to do uh, a meetup at, for, it's like almost happened a billion times and we even did meet up for one video and then I got pneumonia and I just sat there coughing up a lung like in a chair like, Argh. you know, it was sad. Is there parking for an 18 wheeler in DC? <laughs> uh, somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know. They'll probably think you're a terror threat though. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't want to drive an 18 wheeler. Gerard Gerardo, thank you. TM, thank you. Once again, all you guys are doing the super chat donations. Uh, instant message me AR. Uh, thank you again. Send me a message through a Catfish and Carp Facebook page. There's a link on our YouTube channel. Or email me at lnichols at catsandcarp.com with your name and address. And I'll make sure you get that. Hey, thank you very much, Ricky. Ricky. All right. So, hey, listen, I promised uh, an unboxing. Um, and well, let me see if I can do that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. So let me uh, adjust the old camera here. Okay, there we go, and see if this helps. Check this out. Just got this in the mail, fresh from the UK. I uh, via my boys at BigCarpTackle.com. By the way, if you ever want something from the UK and you can't find it in stores here, the guys at Big Carp Tackle will do special orders. And next time they get a shipment from the UK, they'll just have your stuff in there. So if you ever want to order stuff from overseas for carp fishing gear, that's great. So I got a whole pile of Rod Hutchinson baits here. And I've used a few of the Rod Hutchinson baits before. So they're, they're a pretty legitimate bait company. And this, we got a load of stuff here. So, got a big thing of uh, Mulberry Florentine Boilies, 15 millimeters. I love the fruity flavors. And I'm excited because I had a bag of Dynamite Plum Boilies. I bought like six, eight kilos of it. I caught so many awesome channel cats on that. I was an awesome channel cat bait. So I'm anxious to try some of these Mulberry flavors to see if I can catch some, some Channel cats and, and carp, of course, but um, if you, all right, hey, thank you, Tristan. Man, thank you. Any rate, so I've got some of this uh, red halibut juice, 
Okay, it's a PV friendly glug. We've got Mulberry Florentine. This is the spray that you put on your hook bait. Uh, we got Coconut Crunch, some pop-ups, Spicy Krill, Strawberry and Cream. Now, here for all you guys that are, are cat fishermen and you're just like tuning out here, pay attention to this, man. If, if you want to catch more channel catfish and more blue catfish, and you're out there using hot dogs and liver and stink bait and punch bait, you need to pay attention because you will catch more catfish on carp bait than just about anything else. It is like the best kept secret in catfishing is that the catfish love carp baits. And these European carp baits just crush it. My, uh, um, so let me give you an example, okay? So my PB, my best channel catfish I've ever caught 23 pounds was caught on a number six hook and a piece of fake corn with some carp bait glug dipped on it. Okay, using and I was using panko, strawberry, jello, and sweet corn as a bait. My best flathead ever, which was 53 pounds, was caught on a 15 millimeter mulberry flavored boilie. So this right here, this boilie, I caught a 53 pound flathead on that. So my best flathead and my best channel catfish ever were both caught on carp baits. And I routinely just crush it on the channel catfish with, uh, with carp baits. And you ask carp fishermen, Euro style carp fishermen, uh, about fishing in the US, and they all complain that, oh, the catfish are always biting my, my baits. You know, it's like a problem for them that they're getting so many catfish instead of carp. Okay. Uh, um, so if you want to catch, uh, especially channel catfish, uh, um, on you want to crush it, these baits are awesome. And the thing about it is they don't reek. I mean, this is mulberry flavor. This thing, it smells like a candy store right now with this box right here. Um, yeah, we've got pellet flavors. This is uh, pineapple, mango, and banana flavored scents, okay? I mean, this isn't dead shad, rotted liver, all that nonsense. I mean, this is good smelling stuff. So when it gets on your hands, it gets on your boat, and gets on your rod, it doesn't reek. So uh, good, good stuff. If you want to get into, you gotta, you guys check this out. Especially boilies, to what these round things are. Fabulous, fabulous catfish bait and carp bait. Any questions, babe? Uh, yes. What's your email address? That one's come up a lot. L Nichols at catsandcarp.com. Yeah, check this out. These are jumbo sized pieces of corn. Look at these things. They are massive. They're, some of these are an inch across and they're soaked in different fish attractants. So I got a whole box of these. Now I crush it with corn on catfish. Look at the size of these nuggets. I mean, these things are huge. I mean, these are probably an inch across. And yeah, this one's in Scopex flavor, which is a fabulous fish attractant. This is a Mega Spice, a Pineapple Supreme. Catfish love these fruit flavors. So do carp. These are great carp baits. These are great carp baits. But everyone already knows that. They're designed to be carp baits. The thing that I think is cool is the fact they catch catfish too. You have a question for my wife. Well, you ask away, young sir. Come on, Come on, Woohoo, tiger nuts. Mulberry Florentine flavored tiger nuts. Car carp love tiger nuts. And no, these are not taken from a live tiger. They're. Um, oh, there's some more pineapple supreme. Here's some smaller maize. Oh yeah, yeah. See this, this, this size maze right here. I've caught tons of catfish and carp on that, on that size maze. This is right here is one of my favorite hook baits. Is large maze. And here's the thing too. If you have a problem with bluegills and turtles stealing your bait, these extra large corn kernels are much more turtle and carp uh, bluegill resistant. Like the bluegill never touch this stuff, but carp love it. Uh, hi, Nate. Somebody heard Nathan. Yes. Yeah. It's like a siren went off in here. Hey. So, some Banana Supreme. 
14 millimeter banana supremes. These things are good. Uh, Rod Hutchins and these guys sent me a free hat because I am absolutely, I will sell my soul for a hat. I, will, I don't think I've bought a hat in forever. I just, I love free hats. So, as you can tell, <laughs> that's all my. Okay, here's spicy krill carp pellets. These are a great chum. You can also soak them in hot water and make a paste out of them. It's a great base. Oh, mega tutti frutti flavor. One of my favorite flavors. Let's see, here's some more mega tutti frutti. Boilies. Ooh, some redfish. Some red halibut. These are both ground baits, like powders you mix with water to make paste. And mulberry florentine, more of this. I will use plenty of that. Tommy, buddy, why don't you go take that downstairs? Yeah, so here's some more soaked maize. This is uh, mulberry florentine, some smaller kernels. Here's some monster crab, tiger nuts, Scopex maize. Can't get the water to crumb ratio on my pack bait right um, for Ponko. Yeah, Ponko takes very, very little water. I often don't add any water. I just use the moisture from the sweet corn. Okay, and it when you first add the sweet corn and get it, uh, it to it, it'll, it'll feel dry and it takes a few minutes to soak up the moisture from the corn kernel. So if you're making a Ponko pack bait, don't add any water to it. Just add the, the corn, drain off the, the water from the corn, just add the corn. Let it sit for five minutes, squeeze it. If it feels like it needs a little bit more water, add sprinkle just a tiny bit of the juice from the corn on there or add some more corn, but do very little at a time. Go fishing for king salmon. I would love to, but king salmon run in the spring. Hey Tristan, thank you very much. I would love to come to Ohio. I just gotta get done with some, do something with my job. I gotta actually show up to work every once in a while. I, uh, what's the best way to best time to catch catfish in tidal areas? Well, well, here's the thing, guys. With tidal catfish, the tides matter, but there's no one good tide. What happens is, is with tides, fish have certain feeding areas at low tide, and they have certain like holding feeding locations at high tide, and then they transition between the two. Okay. So it depends on where you are. If you're at the place where they hang out during low tide, low tide's best. And if you're at the place they hang out at high tide, then high tide's best. Generally speaking, you're going to be in shallower areas at high tide because those are the places they can't access comfortably a, uh, in low tide. And they're going to be in deeper water. And so you'll, you'll go like there'll be a lagoon or a harbor or something and you'll tend to get the fish in there at high tide. Um, uh, how did I meet my wife? I met her at church. She was giving a sermon and I was making sexy eyes at her. She liked that. Creeped her out a little bit. She still married me. Um, uh, Leanne, Leanne asked for a shout out and I have to quote the, the uh, weather dude from Anchorman. Why are we shouting? <laughs> Can you go over to the Amazon for big catfish? I plan to. Oh, uh, one day when Beck, when Tommy's a little older, we can give him a few more vaccines. Somebody asked if it's better to fish at night or in the morning. Summertime for catfish, nighttime. I'm from about an hour or so before sunset to an hour or so after sunrise is great. Okay, and the sunset sunrise is awesome. Uh, around this time of year, it starts to transition though, and in the winter time, some uh, middle of the day is better. So, um, right about now, uh, from here in Virginia, from about four o'clock till eight o'clock, which is when we get sunset, pretty sweet. I catch a lot of great flatheads uh, around in late afternoon this time of year. Tommy is downstairs, where he cannot beat up Nathan. Been a problem. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can I give your sons a shout out? His name is Lucas. There you go. Hey, Lucas. I still don't understand why we're shouting. 
<laughs> uh, let's see. How was the trip? The trip was epic, guys. I came back with 60 pounds of halibut, salmon, uh, cod, uh, dusky sea bass. I mean, we rocked the fish. Okay. And I've got 350 gigs of video that I'm editing. So I've posted on my Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, part one and part two of my Alaska trip. Part three is coming up this Saturday. I'm editing part four as we speak. Um, those are like 20, 30 minute, just like vlogs, big videos. They're awesome. They're, they're some of my favorite videos. And this Saturday, um, I'm almost done. I'm doing a catch, clean, and cook salmon video that I'm posting this Saturday on the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. So, um, There's something a while ago about a make your own lure challenge. Make my own lure challenge. Ah, oh, I'll have to do I'll have to do something with that. That sounds that sounds fun. Uh, um, I've got one where I made a lure out of a fidget spinner and I haven't used it yet. That's um, that's just one of those projects that's been sitting in hold for like two months. Can you do a giveaway? I'm planning on it. Uh, let's see, any other questions? Uh, yes, make your own rod challenge. Make your own, I got 115 rods. I don't need more rods. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Does your wife get sick of eating fish? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I do catch and release. <laughs> But I'm a good cook, you know. I know how to, I need to spice things up, keep it interesting. I'm gonna do okay with the fish, don't I, babe? You did great with the fish. I don't even like that. That I don't like fish that much, but I like yours. Yeah. Well, I've got a catch, clean, and cook carp video coming up. I've got a, a buddy who runs a Vietnamese restaurant who uh, thinks he can do a decent job cooking a carp because I don't know anything about cooking carp. So, oh, I'm gonna take one over to him, and we're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have a ball. Um, at any rate. There's somebody whose great grandfather is sick. Oh, that's hospital. too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Hoping for the best. Yeah, we hope he we hope he's uh, doing better. Somebody um, asked about sturgeon fishing, and I'm resisting the urge to start singing like a sturgeon to the tune of Madonna's "Like a Virgin." Um, at any rate. Um, Do it. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> Just imagine it. It'll be better. Um, can you hire me? Yeah, come get arrested in Virginia. Don't get arrested in Virginia. Um, uh, have you ever hurt yourself fishing? Yes. On video several times, I had uh, a catfish spine me right in the artery in my wrist and it squirted blood pretty good. Spined myself down in Florida last year and sliced my finger up pretty good. And uh, yeah, I've had a few, few issues, but nothing too bad. At any rate, um, yeah. So invite Chris Flores over. Oh, I, we so you know, Chris Flores was. We, we were talking about having him coming this summer, and I, I've told him that anytime he wants, I've got a room waiting for him. Chris is a great guy. I, I we end up wearing his shirts in half my YouTube videos, anyways. But uh, yeah, Chris is a great guy. I, I'd love to go and uh, go fishing with him. Uh, I'll have to. Send him some water or something so he can go fishing down in New Mexico. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, fall in the water? Fall in the water. Uh, yeah, I nearly drowned once when I was 15. I fell in a very swift, the Kenai River, a very swift, large river in Alaska with hip waders on and nearly drowned. Uh, what type of fish should you go after on a first date? The yeah. type of fish? <laughs> I took Becca fishing for salmon once in Alaska uh, on a, a date when we were uh, when we were married, and a grizzly a bear came. <laughs> it wasn't a first date. The grizzly bear came, and I didn't want to stop. Becca Becca thought it was time to leave, and there was some contention over that. Yep. Um, yeah, I'd say take a girl out fishing for bluegill first date, unless she's already a hardcore fisherman. Maybe take her somewhere else and go fishing on your second date. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at any rate, let's see. Any, any other questions coming up? How well, old anyway, are your kids? was it? How old are your kids? Uh, four and two. Well, anyway, guys, just a reminder: we're doing our fall fishing event 
September 23rd, so a week from this Saturday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 p.m. at the DC Tidal Basin. And everyone's welcome. Come, it's going to be a blast. We always have a great group of people there. I've just, everyone I've met at these events has just been awesome. And it's great catfishing, carp fishing. Um, someone asked if I ever used a meat hunter rod. Yep, I own one. Did a review of one. Um, so come, we love to see you guys. We're going to be doing a live feed uh, Saturday too, multiple live feeds probably from the event. So if you can't make it to DC week from Saturday, tune in, stay, uh, check our Facebook page, check our YouTube channel because we're going to be posting lots of live videos from the event. And uh, a lot of people I know have YouTube channels and want to do collabs and I just don't have time for everybody. So come and, and uh, we, can do, we can do some little micro collabs at the fishing event too. So it'll be a great time. Um, also, a lot of people have been asking me about the Catfishing Cart bumper stickers and how to get one. If you donate through the Super Chat feature on our live feeds and then send me an email or a message through the Catfishing Cart Facebook page with your address, I will send you one. So uh, if anyone is interested in that, you can. Why can't you ship to Canada? I can ship to Canada. Who said I couldn't? Uh, I can ship stickers anywhere I want. I shipped one to Ireland last time. So uh, I do. I don't ship rods to Canada, but. Um, What's your personal best catfish and your personal best carp? Mm, my personal best catfish is 69 pound blue catfish, 53 pound flathead, 23 pound channel catfish. Um, my carp is a bit of a sore subject. I've caught like three 29 pound ca uh, carp never over 30 so i've caught i've got a pretty decent average you know but nothing huge so that's on my to-do list but i don't get to go great carp fishing that often to be perfectly blunt the, the carp videos don't tend to do as well as the catfish videos and so i don't do as, as many of them for youtube reasons and then my area i don't have great carp fishing area. I got the DC uh, Tidal Base and the Potomac, but you know, that's an hour drive each way for me. So it's, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not as close to the good carp fishing. I need to go up to upstate New York or go over to France or something one of these days and just blow the crap out of my PB. So, uh, do, do, do. What line do you like? I like spider wire ultra cast and spider wire stealth. Hey, is Mike Chavez is, uh, on here? I heard, uh, I thought I saw somebody give a shout out to Mike. Me and Mike are supposed to be doing uh, a collab video where we go gar fishing on the James River. And we we're going to do it and had some health issues popped up, couldn't do it. So I'm really hoping to, to do that again. And also I'm uh, hoping to do a video on the James River where I try out my, I, my best rods, my St. Croix Mojo Cat, my I, uh, Rail Splitter, the Big Cat Fevers, the Tangling with Catfish, the Warrior Cats, uh, Shatter Cat Rods, all those rods with the, with the different reels on them and take them out on the James River and just get into some big hogs and really put those rods through their, their uh, um, paces and uh, do a review video on that. So that's coming up. Uh, I saw uh, someone asked I should invite Leo to the fishing event. I absolutely will. We'll do it. Hey, Mike, there you are. Barbecue catfish recipe. Um, on my video coming up, my I've got a halibut catch, clean, and cook video coming up. I did some fish tacos that were mind-blowing. Uh, I mean, some fried fish, uh, halibut fish taco, uh, fish nuggets with like this jalapeno cilantro sauce and uh, homemade pico de gallo. It was wicked awesome. Uh, so that's coming up. You ever been noodling? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. I, I'd kind of like to try it, you know. Um, you know, like some, I don't know about keeping them. I, I have some mixed feelings about keeping, you know, oh, but some catch and release noodling sounds fun. I have swam to the bottom of a lake and got a catfish out of, under a log after it swam there and got wrapped up, but I've never done it just like straight up noodling. So, uh, let's see. Are you doing a giveaway? I'm going to be. I'm uh, going to be doing some giveaways. I've got to get back in the groove. The Alaska trip really is just 
consumed everything for weeks. Um, so, oh, someone said, long live the Confederacy. Oh, you're about like 150 years too late, buddy. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, ever go on a canyon trip? Let's see. I'd love to. Alaska videos coming out. There's already two of them out on my Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And I've got two more. One on my Outdoor Boys channel and one on the Catfish and Carp channel coming out this Saturday. Uh, do, do, do. What are your favorite sports teams? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, let's see. My favorite sports team. There's Spiderwire. I like Daiwa. Uh, <laughs> Uh, plan on getting any pets? I got plenty of food storage. I'm good. Um, Catfish Bill, are you on there? Uh, there. Uh, back from Alaska? Yes, I am. Well, I thought about doing charters. Nah. Nah. Uh, have you ever used bullheaded catfish for bait? Yeah, they were great bait for flatheads. That's one of the primary forages of flathead, big flatheads, is small channel catfish and bullheads. Uh, do, 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 do I know where one rod and one reel is? Not at this moment. No, probably at home. I don't know. But uh, I haven't seen Mike in a little while, but he's, he's doing okay. He's posting videos again. Um... Uh, do you, uh, I don't know, Peric. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple, uh, young YouTubers coming up. Uh, there's Tall Fisherman. Uh, I think Tall Fisherman J down in Florida is, is a real up and comer. There's Monster Mike, um, uh, who I think of prison, Michael Scott's prison Mike. Every time I think of Monster Mike, that not, don't mean that as an insult it just for some reason pops in my head but he's got a great little youtube channel that's up and coming and um you know there's leo from extreme philly fishing and uh there's there's a number of good youtube channels out there coming up i might have to do my favorite you know like top 10 favorite fishing youtube channels video or something uh do do hey there's elston hey catfish bill elston hey how are you guys doing all right well listen I need to kind of wrap this up and do some more editing because I know you guys want more videos. So I'm going to put this away, but uh, I've got lots and lots of carp baits to try out. So I am flush with carp baits. A lot of these Rod Hutchinson uh, baits coming up and we're doing our fishing event one week from Saturday, September 23rd at the DC Tidal Basin. So come fish with me. And if you can't make it, watch our live feeds. Uh, we're going to be doing lots of live events from uh, live feeds from the uh, the event, and uh, if you ever want one of the catfish and carp bumper stickers, uh, don't forget to tune into our live feeds and donate to the super chat, and you'll get a bumper sticker. And if you want one of our catfish and carp T-shirts, uh, which uh, come out, go to our spread shirts uh, account. So. Yeah, if you like these new the new the new t-shirts we got, go to our Facebook page and click the shop now button on our Facebook page. Um, I'll also put a link in the description for this video once it posts and you can buy the cats and carp swag. Anyway, thanks for So when I really wanted to do this and I really wanted what? to be in well, I was just saying goodbye and the app crashed and Tommy was really sad he didn't get to say goodbye. So say goodbye to everyone and tell goodbye. them what to do. Goodbye and be good and go fishing. And corn. Quick subscribe! No, 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 no,